If you've explored Canva recently, well, you'd be aware of the immense creative potential it offers. From documents to social media, videos, print products, and websites, the possibilities of bringing your creative ideas to life are vast. So you may not know this, but one of the first areas we really became known and highly regarded for was presentations. And we're proud of our achievement, turning an often tedious task of creating presentations into a breeze. But that doesn't mean that we've been resting on our laurels. Our presentation team is constantly working on ways to enhance and update the product to meet the evolving needs of our users. So, are you ready to explore the new features and level up your presentation game? Hi, I'm Matt, a design educator here at Canva. So Canva presentations. With a user-friendly interface, drag-and-drop multimedia integration and versatile templates really change the way that people present and pitch their work. And because it's cloud-based, you can access and edit your presentations from any device, anywhere you are. This accessibility paved the way for real-time collaboration. Our engineers developed a feature allowing multiple users to work on a presentation simultaneously, revolutionizing the way that teams and classrooms brainstorm and manage projects. And this innovation led us to develop whiteboards, infinite canvases for collective ideation. The creative ways that people use whiteboards from wedding planning, mood boards, to movie plot storyboards, it never ceases to amaze us. I share this to highlight how we're continually refining and expanding our presentation capabilities. By observing how people use our tools, we identify new areas for innovation, leading to fresh features and more workflow enhancements. Some updates are significant and others are subtle, but they're all designed to enhance and streamline your presentation creation process. Okay, what shall I show you first? Hmm. Let's start at a typical beginning. Say that you've been asked to pull together a pitch or a business plan or a proposal and present it to the team. This can be stressful and hard to know how to get started. Only made worse if there's time pressures or competing priorities. But no problem. With Magic Design, you can simply describe what you need and watch as it gets your design started for you. Let me show you. We'll start a blank presentation like this. This has a ton of options, but you'll see Magic Design is near the top. Simply describe the presentation you want to create. Hit enter and click one of these to see the individual slides in more detail. These are your starting slides with the titles, images, and text generated from your original prompt. Look at how it changes if I modify the prompt and change the audience. Even better. Hit this button and you can start customizing, moving from idea to edit in record time. What about if you've been sent a presentation? Maybe in a different format like PowerPoint, for example. Simple. Just drag and drop your presentation file to the homepage. Files of 70 megs are supported with up to 300 pages. Canva identifies and matches the font during the conversion process but it's not always gonna be possible to find the exact match. So you might need to do a little adjustment like this. And then you can just start editing as you would in any other presentation file. Need it back in that original format? Easy, just download it that way. It really is that easy. If you want to learn more about converting other file types, have a look at this video with Corey. She goes into a lot more detail. Okay, I quickly showed you that design tab and there are a few additions in there that are worth looking at. Great for quickly finding inspiration and updating presentations so they feel cohesive and fresh. From the editor, click on the design tab and you'll see three options, templates, layouts, and styles. Templates will give you instant access to pre-made presentations. Type in what you're looking for and you'll be offered a whole range of options. Click on any of these and see a preview of what's included. You can drag in slides, really handy when you wanna borrow elements, icons, charts, or infographics. 
I often create a library at the end of my presentation, so they're close at hand when I need them. If you just want to use the style, you can hit this button and it will apply it to the current slide. Hit shuffle to reorganize colors or hit this button to apply the style to all pages. Speaking of reorganizing, layouts is perfect to see if there's another way to present your information. As you can see, it's suggesting alternative layout options using the existing content. The perfect way to ensure your presentation remains interesting and varied, not over relying on one or two layouts. Just click it and it instantly updates. That brings us to styles. At the top, you'll find combinations. Tap one of these and it'll update the selected slide fonts and colors. Scroll down further and you can apply color palettes and font sets individually. When you're happy, hit apply to all pages and the styles will be carried across all the slides in the presentation. A super quick way for refreshing and adapting a tired presentation. Of course, if you have set up brand kit, you can find that here. Oh, want to know more about brand kit? Clay has a great video that shows you exactly how to set it up and why it's a game changer. Now I mentioned charts and infographics before, and there's a few updates there that are worth mentioning. Head to the elements tab and scroll down to charts, choose see all, and it's the interactive charts I wanted to highlight. First up is the tree map chart, displaying hierarchical data as a set of nested rectangles, where each rectangle's size and color represents certain variables. Add data here and it's applied to the chart. In the settings, you can choose what you want to show. And this chart is interactive, so you can click on the rectangle and go deeper into the data. Hit the zoom out button to go back to the overall data set. It's really useful for understanding patterns and proportions within the data. And really impressive in a presentation when the audience asks for a little bit more detail. Adjust colors here. And as with all Canva charts, you can upload a CSV file here or link it to a Google Sheet here. At any time, you can shift to another interactive chart, like the packed circles chart, also known as a bubble chart. This displays the hierarchical data as a cluster of circles with the size of each circle representing the value. A good choice if you want a more visually engaging, less structured way of showing interactive data. When adding your chart to a presentation page, add in graphics and text to make it feel more integrated. Tapping on the position button enables layer adjustment so you can decide what sits on top and therefore what's seen first. This is important when you start to think about how you might reveal things to an audience, which is a great segue to talk more about transitions. Place your cursor in between the slides here and you'll get options to add a page or create a transition. Hovering over the transition styles shows a preview. I like flow, but my favorite is match and move, especially when it's used in conjunction with layers. It detects and smoothly animates identical elements across two slides, irrespective of the size, location, or color. Isn't that great? Magic Design, importing different file types, the Design tab, Position Tool, even Transitions. Wow, we've covered a lot. All great additions when designing your presentation. Now let's focus on the new features for presenting your presentation. Most people know how easy collaboration is in Canva. Make this presentation available to anyone, copy and send out the link. Just go here, add in the emails, and they can jump straight in and start creating with you in real time. Expanding a page to whiteboard means you can keep collaborating even during the presentation. By clicking on it, they have instant access to the whiteboard, no sign-in necessary. You are able to follow their activity by their cursors, and they can see yours. 
In fact, you can even choose a specific cursor to track, seeing what they see. This is really handy if you want to demonstrate something in the whiteboard. Just get everyone to track your cursor and you can lead them around the whiteboard. The perfect way to present a summary of the activity. Talking of summaries, if people can't make it to the meeting, you could always record yourself highlighting key information and discussion points. Head to the Uploads tab and choose the Record Yourself option. This will take you to the recording studio. Enable video and microphone and begin recording. This will create new video files in your uploads folder. They'll automatically be added to the correct pages, so it's like you're right there with them. If you want to be even more impressive, apply Video Background Remover to your recording. Doesn't that look great? These are both such powerful tools. And as before, if you want more information about them, you should check out our playlist and subscribe to our channel. We're uploading new content all the time. In fact, this video with Sarah might be worth a watch. It's a great way to show how useful whiteboards are for a whole range of things, not just business. To get into the presentation view, just go here and select Presenter View. This will give you an additional window where you can see your notes and current and upcoming slides. In the Presenter window, you'll also find these buttons. Many people have tried out magic shortcuts before. They're the perfect way to engage and surprise your audience. Drum roll is a favorite of mine. It builds expectation and it focuses all eyes on the slide. Confetti is great for celebrating wins and a mic drop lets everyone know that you're finished with a b-boy style. If you're presenting with someone else, you can hand the controls to them with the remote control. Scanning this QR code on their phone will turn it into their own personal controller. No more distracting, next slide please. They can set their own pace. The timer is the best way to ensure any activity is kept on time. It even comes with music now. Simply tap this and your audience will be treated to sublime sounds to increase their focus or maybe energize them. In this menu, choose Hide Magic Cursor and a new feature to hide live edits. So what is a live edit? Live edits means you can have collaborators in the presentation with you working on upcoming slides that haven't been presented yet. The changes are synced instantly, so you can be sure that the information is going to be the most up-to-date possible. This is really helpful if you're running a little behind on your prep, but it can also be used to adjust the presentation flow based on the audience interaction and reaction to previous slides. The final thing I wanted to show you here is this Canva Live button. If you want a truly interactive and engaging workshop, open it up to your audience. Start the session and you'll receive instructions how to help them join instantly. You'll also notice a red live indicator here. They can ask questions from anywhere on any device and you or a teammate can respond live. Or it might be the perfect way to end your presentation. Speaking of which, that brings us to the end of this video. The Canva presentation tool has always been a powerful resource and our commitment is to keep making it even better. We're constantly brainstorming ways to update and enhance the presentation experience, making it more efficient and hopefully more enjoyable. Look, any feedback or questions, we'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments below and we'll get back to you. Oh, hey, seems like you're still here with us. That's exciting. In search of more thrilling content to watch, why don't you dive into our playlist? It's packed with gems you're going to love. And have you tried out whiteboards yet? If you need more encouragement, this video might be worth a watch. And hey, thanks for watching. We really appreciate you taking the time. Subscribe so you don't miss out on anything coming up in the future. See you next time.